Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Text Chainsaw Massacre the Game video today. A little bit different, dogs. Uh, we're doing some tinfoil hat theories. It's been a while. Yeah. I haven't put my tinfoil hat on since like well before the game came out. Dusting it off. Dusting it off. Putting your back on. We should start wearing tinfoil hats for these. We should. Yeah. Yeah, we're not the only ones, though. We didn't even start the tinfoil hat uh, discussions on this one. But yeah. we, I mean, we. Yeah, we know. I mean, yeah, yeah you, you, like, come on. Uh, so Wes Keldner, I, I always like to think anytime Wes is posting about anything related to horror that he has an agenda. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like I'm going to overthink everything Wes Keltner posts about horror movies. So that's what this is going to be. Uh, Wes Keltner, if you don't know, CEO over at Gun Interactive. Um, I, I did, did, did a lot of the audio design or was involved in the audio design for the text chainsaw massacre and the butts and the butts design the butts and all the characters. Yes. Uh, Wes is pretty well known in the community, I would say, but it, so we keep going to close eye on social media and it's, we're not going to start with the big one. All right. That everyone else is talking about. I actually want to start with Amy Steele. Ginny. Yeah. Ginny. Yeah. So we were actually at Scarefest in Lexington, Kentucky, which is where both these photos kind of happen. Um, it's a horror convention and, Gun is located in Lexington, Kentucky. And so we were there and no, we saw this whole thing. We heard them talk. No, we didn't got nothing. I actually didn't even see Wes. Nope. Couldn't believe it. Saw Ronnie. Saw Rob. That's it. Saw Matt in the v very far distance. And that was it. Wow. Yeah. Then uh it talked to Ronnie and talked to Rob. Didn't talk to Matt. Yeah. That was it. Literally didn't see Wes. It was so packed. The day that I think uh, Wes was there, it was so packed. And it was not even worth fighting the crowd most of the time. Saturday was, yeah, it was. I mean, they had a lot of guests this year, but man, Saturday was packed. Yeah, it, they needed chill on the guests. Unrelated to this whole conversation, 50 plus guests at a horror convention is just a little too much. Just, just dial it back a little bit. Yeah, like I'm t like half, like literally like half, because you're never if you actually wanted to go see all 50 guests there, not a chance. No, no, you're going to stand in line for an hour and a half. But Fiona Dorff had a line of an hour and a half on Saturday. Yeah, and that's assuming you can even afford to see all the people. You already got to pay to get in. You got line skips if you went VIP. It's just, yeah, it's a little crazy. It's a lot. That's the most guests I think I've ever seen at like a horror convention. Yeah, Comic-Cons and things like that's a little bit different. But yeah, uh, but while the, Amy Steele was there, okay, and one of the nights Amy hung out with Wes and, and Wes posted on Twitter, so I got to see my friend and the, the ultimate final girl, Amy, tonight. Great combo over bourbon. She's pretty great. She is. Yeah. She is. Now, you may think that this is just a casual tweet. talking Friends talking about friends. Sharing friendship. But we got our hats on. We got our hats on, I think. I think Amy... First of all, did, did have they ever... How do they, how do they know each other? She wasn't even in F-13. Right. So now, all of a sudden, you're friends? Where was she in the game? Why? Because I would have loved to have Ginny in, in F-13 the game. Best final girl. Best, 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 best Friday 13th final girl. Yeah, so what started their relationship? Is it because they had conversations in the past about her being in the game? Which they honestly... Probably. Probably. That's probably happened. But uh, we're going to totally ignore that. Here, here's um, just the deep dive part of this because, you know, it'd be one thing if they went and grabbed drinks uh, at a restaurant, at Scarefest, there's a hotel bar there, etc., etc. But this is at the gun's office. And the only reason we know that is because we've been in that exact room uh, many years ago uh, when we did the uh, interview with with Wes and Ronnie many Look, years ago. Yeah, it looks like a looks like the conference room. Yeah, maybe maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, his office. But it sure. It sure looks like I don't know. All I know is that's not the hotel bar at Scarefest. <laughs> uh so, yeah, I don't know. I just I, I don't know what the hell you do uh, with her. She could be the the voice of I just I don't want to dive too far into leaks, but. There's a leaked female character. Maybe she's the voice of that character. Maybe. I don't know how much VO stuff she's ever done, but. Right. Yeah. This one is just real tinfoil hat. Just like, whoa, whoa, maybe. The next one, 1,000% <laughs> intentional. 1,000% yeah. like, intentional. I don't care what Wes says. Say, like, oh, I was just supposed to picture. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Okay. All right. Uh, this one was just hanging out at the gun studio, but emphasizing that they're the gun studio. What? <laughs> such a guy I want to punch Wes sometimes hanging out of the gun studio and realizing we both have dogs that look nearly identical and it's tag chop top Mosley it's Bill Mosley chop top himself at gun studio emphasis I, the fact that he put at gun studio I, I mean hey they were they have similar looking dogs 
you, you ever heard of subtlety? <laughs> like this is so this is so far away from subtlety it's it's unbelievable like so he gave photo credit to matt that was nice of him um matt took this photo on a professional sony camera went edited the photo gave it to wes wes posted it. there's like five steps <laughs> for this tweet to happen it's like yeah dude i i'm getting i know anytime they ever say oh we don't have the licenses to this no you do. You do have the licenses and you definitely are going to do Chop Top. And that's why Bill's there. Or are you really just testing the waters? Like, oh, maybe they're interested in you. Oh, if, I get, if I get 100 likes, maybe Chop Top <laughs> will be in the game. <laughs> you should have literally just been really on the nose. If this tweet gets 1,000 likes, we'll put Bill Mosley in the game. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, Bill Mosley tweeted in the past about it as well is that like he hasn't been approached or he's not going to be in it or whatever. Uh, which may actually the way he worded it almost sounded like he had a bad relationship with gun. Yeah. Well, that just shit on all that. huh? <laughs> so there goes that entire theory. I mean, I, I think he could be in. I think uh, they could have licenses to other to other films. Dude, I don't even think anymore. <laughs> like, I, I didn't I never really kind of bought the the whole license thing to begin with, just because you, Kim Hankel. It has his hands right on the interactive rights to to all of it. It seems, at least if you look at all like the the copyright and trademark and shit, uh, that stuff gets really complicated. But it like if you can get the first one, uh, Kim Hankel should be able to get you the rest. But uh, I don't know. I just I always assume they were just kind of building hype. hype. Yeah, yeah, like hey, we you buy don't, sell enough copies, yeah. maybe we can get the sequel. Yeah, don't expect it. Yeah, and then here you go exactly yeah that way it's a big surprise but i actually for that reason i think posting that that picture because he did it in such a not subtle way he's oh we're just talking about our dogs that look at alike. the gun studio <laughs> like it, if you honestly you take out that that phrasing like take out the gun studio part and it gets a, it's a little less it's a little or it's a little more subtle it's not official it's casual yeah like even though it's still you could have said, "Hey, oh, caught up with Bill Mosley at Flat or at Scarefest weekend. We got the same looking dog. We got the same look. Turns out, what the, the dog doing? Yeah, what the dog doing? But no, we're hey, we're so close. We're back at Gun Studio. We're talking. Hey, by the way, we were just showing him his uh, his character in game. That's why he's at the studio. <laughs> That's actually what they were looking at. Dude, maybe. Oh, they're just like, hey, here's your character. No, that would have been funny. They're sitting at like a PC. Oh, we have the same looking dogs. <laughs> he's just screens got a, blurred. He's got a headset on. And shit, screens blurred. Yeah, that was the only way to be uh, less subtle than what this is. Hey, so, I mean, hey, I have not seen Bill Mosley's dog. Well, I they, I'm sure that was a real conversation they had. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's fun. We're having fun. My tinfoil hat is is steaming right now. My my tinfoil hat, I don't even need it on for this one. It's not even a theory anymore. <laughs> but the the Amy Steele one, yeah, that one's that one might be stretching it a little bit far. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Again, it's not confirmed. It's not confirmed by any means. They still have yet to confirm that they have any like licenses to the sequels, and maybe they don't. I don't buy it, but maybe they don't. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you, you tweeted that with some confidence. I mean, uh, the numbers uh, the numbers talk, and Game Pass is included. Well, yeah, yeah, it's got to be. So uh, they they sold a lot of copies. Yeah, I mean, yeah, millions of players. And I, you know, if you want to, the game's in a weird spot right now, and that's not really for this video. We'll talk about that. But the game's kind of in a, a bad spot ish. Uh, community's in a weird spot. You know, people are. It's it's hard to be in a positive place as a player right now. Uh, it's hard to be like, yeah, this is great. Yeah, the game design's great. We've all had fun, but there's just a lot of things that have happened that are weird you could almost like shut everybody up the second you have chop top announced. And like, honestly that would like, that would silence a lot of people to get a big DLC, like chop yeah. top in there with Bill Mosley doing the voice and maybe even the mocap. Come that would, on. That'd be slick, Come on, And not just a skin for hitchhiker. I know a lot of people have recommended that. And yeah, you, it, that's better than nothing, but I would, he deserves to be his own character. He's fucking chop top. He's want, Bill Mosley. I want hitchhiker and chop top to interact exactly that's something we never got to see that would be so cool Come i would on. love that ed neal and bill mosley in canon talking to each other would be the coolest thing ever i want to see that i don't want to skin that would be that'd be lame yeah um and i'm sure they're thinking the same thing yeah so, yeah would that be enough to like just fix everything you know what i don't even care about this broken servers and the lobby dodging i just want bill mosley <laughs> the game ending every three games yeah that too yeah that's gotten a little bit better since the most recent update we'll talk about that in another video but it's kind of a little bit better 
Uh, I don't know. What do, what do you think? You think Chop Top Bill Mosley is going to be in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Seems like a so. fucking no brainer. I hope so. I honestly, that's that's the character, right? Like out of all the sequels, all the characters you put in the game, that's the one people want. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Unfortunately for Matthew McConaughey and Vilmer, it's the worst movie in the franchise. Yeah. Um, not in the original franchise, maybe not as a whole. Might be some couple worse in there, but yeah, no. Chop Top is yeah, when they announce the game, they're like, Chop Top. The oh. second there's a tweet with Matthew McConaughey in the fucking studio, hey, just catching up over bourbon. I'm gonna be like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean? Is all right, up. all right, all right. Oh my god, he would. I think he would do it. I really do. He's just got such a personality, like that's he doesn't seem like a pretentious asshole, you know. But yeah, he seems he's just such a cool guy. I feel like he'd do it. And he's loyal to Texas. But yeah, as soon as they announce the game, they're like, oh my God, I want Chop Top. Yeah, it's been it's been the talks ever since. That's uh, that's the most uh, requested, I think, thing ever. Screw crossplay. I want Chop Top. I'll get rid of crossplay for Chop Top. <laughs> I'll take that. Would you? I would. Lava Dodge would be even worse. But I get to play as Chop Top <laughs> if I get to if, if I get to the choice. <laughs> if I get to play, if I'm the last one to load in, I'll never play Chop Top. Yeah, that it was funny because even with uh, Nicotero Leatherface, there was dodging uh, for people that wanted to play Leatherface. There were people dodging just because that reason. Well, because they just spent sixteen dollars and I, they can't. I, play I understand the skin. it. I understand it. But y- there's a chance that if it's a licensed character, that that ends up being premium content. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be the same result. You're, You're going to have to drop multiple licensed characters at a time to try to even it out. But yeah. everyone's going to want to play Chop Top, man. Yeah. If he comes to the game, just make him trash. You know, oh. just make him terrible. <laughs> and then you then nobody want to play him. <laughs> then just buff him later and we'll come back to it. Yeah. Perfect. All right, again, let us know. What do you think? You think Big Conspiracy Theory? Bill Moe's in the game? Let me know about Amy Steele. Voice of a character, maybe? Come on. Come on, it'd be sick. All right, that's going to wrap this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And, of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.